In this video, we, we will look at a few angle word problem examples. Uh, so let's dive right in and see what we've got. First one, a few blocks south of the happiest place on earth, Thornton Township High School, three st streets intersect each other to form a triangle, Park Avenue, Center Avenue, and 156th Street. You want to ride your bicycle around this triangle. If you know that the first two corners measure 63 degrees and 28 degrees, what is the measure of the third corner? So we have this shape. Okay, it doesn't actually matter which street this one's parked. That's 156, this one's center. You can look on a map. Um, and as we're going around, we know that the first two corners are 63 degrees and 28 degrees. We want to find this missing corner here, and we know that the interior of a triangle, the three interior angles, have to add to 180 degrees. So I'll do x plus 63 plus 28 equals 180. 63 plus 28 is 91, so x plus 91 equals 180. Subtract 91 from both sides. 180 minus 91 lets me know that the last corner here has to measure 89 degrees. Okay, you know that two angles are supplementary and one angle is 15 degrees larger than the other. What are the measures of both angles? So for a problem like this, it's actually not too bad. We're going to go almost immediately to the uh, algebra. So we have two angles, and we know one is 15 bigger than the other. So we have x, and we have x plus 15. We know they are supplementary, which means that when they add up, they have to add up to 180 degrees. And now I'll just solve this equation. x plus x gives me 2x. Bring down everything else. I'll subtract 15 from both sides and get that 2x equals 165. And now divide by 2. You can do that in your head, 82.5, or if you need to, go to a calculator. And hey, look, 82.5. So I know that one of my angles is 82.5 degrees. The other angle is this x plus 15 which is going to be 82.5 plus 15. And again, you can either do that in your head or go to the calculator, add on 15. I get 97.5. So the other one is 97.5 degrees. Three, 159th Street and Sibley are two parallel roads. If you are traveling west on 159th Street, and turn right 93 degrees to get onto a cross street, what angle will you need to turn right to get onto Sibley? Um, so in here, if you know the area, you know that we have 159th Street, we have Sibley further north, and we have a cross street somewhere in here. If you don't know the area, you still know that um, if I'm going west and make a right, if I want to be able to make another right to get on to Sibley, it better be farther north. Okay, so in here we're told that the angle I turn is 93 degrees, and I want to know what angle I would have to turn again right to get onto Sibley. And I can see that I have two parallel lines. I see a transversal. I see that these angles don't look the same. 93 degrees is obtuse. X looks acute. So I know that I will follow the rule X plus 93 equals 180. Um, that would be same side interior if I want to give the actual name of it. I'll subtract 93 degrees from both sides. Get that X is equal to 87 degrees. And there's my answer for turning right. 
Now, I also want to know what happens if I need to turn left. So I'll put a Y over here. Easiest way would probably be to realize that Y and 93 degrees, they look the same. They are alternate interior angles, and whenever I have that, they'll equal each other. So Y is equal to 93 degrees. If you didn't go that route, but instead notice that X and Y are a linear pair, they make a straight angle, notice 87 and 93 add up to 180. So that will work as well. Okay, last example. You just realized that your true dream job has always been building railroad tracks. Railroad tracks are generally made up of two parallel rails. So we have our rails, marked parallel, with wooden cross ties acting as transversals. So we generally would have then a cross tie, and we have a lot of them, and ideally they would be perpendicular, but there's nothing that says they have to be perpendicular. Okay, so you measure the angle that one of the cross ties makes with one of the rails and get 88 degrees. You want to measure the angle on the same side, so this angle I measured to the left of the transversal, so I'm going to measure another one to the left, and both between the tracks, which means we have a uh, same side interior angle pair. So I'll put an X right here. And I know that for this rule, X plus 88 is equal to 180. I will subtract 88 from both sides. And I will get that X is equal to 92 degrees. Okay, so if you need a little more help with the word problems, you can go back to the original video. There's a link in the description. There's also a link to a worksheet so you can get some practice with this. If you need more help with the basics of identifying the angle pairs and figuring out the equation to use to solve them, then I would recommend going back to previous videos where I showed the, uh, the rule for interior angles in a polygon. I showed the rules for simple angle pairs, and I showed the rules for uh, parallel lines and transversals. All right, so those will be in uh, previous in the playlist for Math 2, or you can find them on my channel.